Okay, yeah, no on that hair. Okay. That's great. Hold on. <laughs> this is how this is how my hair's been basically freaking all night, dude. Since I worked out. Okay, hold up. Hold on. Just wait a minute. Just wait a second, please. Okay. So I just filmed some join stuff. I just put, posted some Patreon stuff. Jeez Louise. My gosh. Sorry. Hold up. Oh, okay. That's not fun. Gotcha, Axel. What does that mean? You got my Axel? What? What happened? It's my Axel. Oh no, what? Oh no to you. Oh no. Um. Oh. <laughs> I don't know that. Hi, Artist Devil. What's going on? Hi, Lamest Taco eight four eight three. Didn't you say that you hated me? I'm okay. I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Let me see. You're not bad, you're good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what Gotcha Axel is. I'm sorry. I give you a thumbs up. Thank you. I'll return the favor. Um. Sorry, I don't know that game. I suck. Um. I'm tired. So I'm trying to keep up with everything, like my join people, and I'm trying to keep up with my Patreon people, and then I'm trying to keep up on here. And I'm trying to keep up with my sponsor. And I'm trying to keep up with my AA stuff. And I'm trying to keep up with my exercise. And I'm trying to keep up with my babies, my child. I'm trying to keep up with my kids and my husband. And I made dinner. I made um, meatloaf and broccoli and cheese. And it was really bomb. And tomorrow we're making Navajo tacos. And we're going to use like all the lettuce that I picked from my garden that I grew. And like i'm borderline how do you put this like i'm borderline on the verge i'm not i'm not gonna like have a meltdown or anything like that <sighs> per se because i've already had too many of those like late recently like i mean let's see i've had since covid started i've had I would say three or four put like like decent meltdowns. Um, two required um, me relapsing. Um, and the others have made me like overeat or like be reclusive um, or like be paranoid or um, just stupid like just dumb paranoia bullshit you know what I mean it's the best way I can explain it like I just don't feel normal and uh, like how do I explain this it's just not good I need to get glasses like that's where I'm at you know and I'm not even doing that sounds delicious and it was it was really good actually um like I need to actually do stuff for myself which I did today I worked out that was something for myself I did it get ready with me that was something for myself kind of but not really I'm live streaming now that's kind of something for myself I planned an entire workout for my patrons tomorrow um, that's 
something for myself. I I don't know. I don't know how to put this. Oh. Without being like weird or whatever. Hold on. Christina Sapphire, you look beautiful. Well, thank you. I don't feel like it. I just found out that, like, I'm obese. Like, okay. Hi, committee. So, like, before COVID, listen, like, this is a real, real thing, okay? Before COVID, I was overweight, right? And now I'm obese. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not kidding. It's the it's the camera angle. I'm sitting in bed, covering my fat. Like, I'm honestly blaming COVID for like everything right now. I'm blaming COVID for my relapse. I'm blaming COVID. I'm blaming. I'm blaming COVID for my weight gain. I'm blaming COVID. It's all COVID's freaking fault. I'm serious. <sighs> well, I'm on the cusp. Like, I'm, like, right there. Like if, like, if I lost, like, five pounds, I'd be overweight again. And then if I lost, like, another, well, I'd have to do the, I'd have to do the math. Math hurts my brain. Even the most simplest of mathematical equations like just I can't do they're hard for me but that's news you guys are happy I'm sure you'll happy be happy to hear that that now I'm actually overweight for real like I mean obese for real now you can honestly call me obese and it's true um <laughs> Woo. Oh, that's some fun shit that's really sad and annoying shit um they call it quarantine weight, and I think I'm just going to melt. It's just going to come right off. Like, it's just going to come right off. I'm not worried about it, really, to be totally honest with you. I'm really not, because I know my ambition, and I know my, like, it's, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I came on here telling you I'm obese. Like, that's how much I care, like, for real. <laughs> because <laughs> it's going to change within I would say the next two weeks to a month so I'm not really that worried about it if you want to join my Patreon you can watch me work out and see the fat just melt off me or grow watch me grow even fatter who knows I haven't been using my um, CPAP machine by the way and I think that's partially why I've been gaining weight me too Kimmy D. I have to go bye <laughs> bye Axel Get real, um, everyone has fat, but obese, come on. No. By technical terms, yeah, I'm obese. I just, it just makes me sad because I'm eating cookies right now. <laughs> no. Christina, put down the cookies. Um, because <laughs> you soon, you, you, you might become overweight. Um, COVID is dangerous and it's making people either fat or really healthy. And it's, it's turning on me. It's making me fat. Um, but maybe the liquor had something to do with that too. I don't know. But anyway, back on track. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, I have a meeting Tuesday. I have therapy Monday. And Hubs and I are going to start therapy too. So that's good. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to share with you that I'm obese. Yep. It's cool. It's all right. But yeah, I'm not going to let COVID get me down anymore. I'm sick of it running my life and like making me stressed out and making me stressy and making me depressed and... 
Like, what I don't think people understand is when you have little, little babies, it's different. Like, I don't know. It's just different. Like, like look, at my, look, at my, look at my obese. Look at this is obese. This is called obesity right here. And that's obese, okay? All that shit is oh, motherfucking beast. It's obese. Right here. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think I've ever, I've never been obese. This is like the first time I've ever been obese. <laughs> Do you notice how I like saying the word obese? Okay. For those of you that want to play a drinking game, every time Nikki says obese, take a shot. I think the weight guidelines are a little rigid. They kind of are. I agree with that too, Kimmy, to be honest with you. I thought that too when I was, um, when I was, when I was being a personal trainer. And I was within the, I was, I was like within the weight and I was like perfect. It wasn't perfect, but I was within the guidelines. It's just okay. Like, okay. Um, I thought that too. Proud of you getting all the other stuff done. It's hard with kids. It is. Don't worry about something you can't change with the Kobe. I mean, seriously, you look awesome and you're my mom. Oh, Christina, I like you. Where are you from, girl? Where are you from? I like you. Um, yeah, I try. But I'm gonna do a mommy makeover, and the whole point is is to lose as much as I can, so that way when they suck out the fat, like I'll lose that much more. Does that make sense? Because they they what are they? I can't even freaking talk. I'm gonna stop taking Topamax, dude. They cauterize. Okay, after they lipo you, they cauterize the inside so you can't gain weight back. Like the fat can't grow there again. So that's why I'm trying to lose more weight. So when I do get my mommy makeover and I, you know, like I wanna lose another 20 pounds so when I get my mommy makeover it'll be like really like a big like change oh thank you makeup thank you for the prayers I feel so much better they're totally working <laughs> they're totally working they feel like they're working anyway thank you I appreciate that you definitely don't need a makeover well my body like when I look in the mirror <laughs> Do you have children? Honey? Honey? <laughs> some women, like, they can have kids. Like, my family, it's not like that. Like, some women can have kids and they, like, stay skinny and they just grow, like, a little bump. You know? Like, that, that's not how my family is. Like, we... All of the women in my family, we gain an excessive amount of weight and we... We have big babies. We got big babies. Like, Buddy was in pounds, seven ounces. Like, that's a big baby. And so, like, he jacked my ish up to be, but to say it, and I don't know how to say that any nicer. But, you know what? I would do it indefinitely just to have him. Like, I would carry that 10 pounds, seven ounce baby around indefinitely just to have him. God is good. Amen. He is. Yes, I'm 53. Big bones. LOL. <laughs> Hello, Nikki Rev. Hello, Sweet Meadow. My son was 10 pounds two weeks early. Oh, my God. No drugs either. Kimmy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, my water broke, but it was a plan C-section. But he was, like, his head was down there. Like, he was, like, trying to get out. So, down there, like, girl. Okay. It was like a bowling ball was chilling down there for like a minute. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I need this mommy makeover and it's going to happen. So I just need to lose like a quick 20 pounds. Okay. How much? Oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys, I need to really get my butt in gear. I'm sick of talking about it. 
Well, tomorrow on Patreon, um, I have like a full on workout, like planned for us, no equipment needed. Um, some of it's cardio, some of it's abs, a lot of stretching, um, it's low impact. So like some of us that have, that are, that are like have a lot of weight, like myself, <laughs> um, I can't be doing like jumping jacks or anything like that because it messes up my knees. <laughs> the honesty in this video um like this is what covid did to me i'm being freaking for real this is what covid did covid did this blame it on covid i should name i should title this blame it on covid i'm gonna title it that i think yeah anyway so it's really low impact it's gonna be fun it'll be a good time i haven't decided if i'm gonna do a get ready with me before or not but either way we're gonna sweat okay we're gonna sweat and it's gonna be fun and, and yeah, if you miss it, just do it. Do 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 the workout after. I actually looked up some old, like um, like school stuff from NASA, and um, I found some stuff. Excuse me, I'm getting tired. Cause now is the time where I wind down. I listen to my big book jot down some notes maybe watch a show or two and then go to bed so I just wanted to check in with you and let you guys know I'm obese and <laughs> my plan of action to correct that yeah so I'm really yeah okay my son was t all right no drugs okay I read that you are hysterical I'm crying hi artist You'll come through all this. It's just a crazy time. This it is. It really is. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh my gosh, Kimmy, I'm feeling myself. <gasps> Miss De La Rue, lots of love and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, my hon. I love my hon. I, I swear your guys' prayers are working. Because I'm feeling like with each day that I'm getting further and further from my relapse, like I'm feeling better and better and better. Yeah, send me some workout angels. Please do. Christina, send me some workout angels. <laughs> oh my gosh. Power of prayer is amazing, isn't it though? Like I pray so much. I've been praying a lot for my family. They are. They work, they work, it's insane. They do work and sometimes it's so simple, you know, like just pray. Ask and you shall receive, amen, Christina. But um, I'm almost reading my, reaching my 20 minute point and you guys know that I get like really like, I can't be on here more than 20 minutes. I get like, I'm so, so glad you're feeling better. I know they will, they will. I know they will. That's the cool thing about it. I know. Thank you. Thank you all. I love you guys. Maybe I'll do a singing video, even though I can't sing, but like <laughs> for you. Like just as a, as a tribute to everyone that's been like here for me. Like I'll think of a really like good song for you guys and sing it, like even though I can't sing, but just like that'll be my like thank you. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm full I'm, of, I'm just, I don't know. I feel a lot better than I have been in a very long time. <sighs> the weight's lifted off my shoulders. I got a workout in. I'm back in the big book. Things are, things are happening. Things are happening. And, and it's honestly, a lot of it has to do with you guys. Like you guys, you lift me up. Okay. I won't, I won't try that one. I promise. Cause that, that's not. I'm not like, there's no way I could do that. <clears throat> but I'll figure something out. I'll, I'll figure, I need, to, I need to give back somehow. I will. I just don't know what to do yet. But anyway, I love you guys. Sweet dreams. Stay positive, even though I know it's so hard. Sometimes it's so freaking hard. It's good to hear me giggle. Wow, I know. I feel like it's been a while. 
Yes, sing. You have an amazing voice. Oh, Miss Taylor, you're so kind. You can sing. I'd like to hear you sing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm not going to cry. I got to go. Love you guys.